Richard Feather, the University of Oxford. Something I loved about the ceremony this morning is the feeling that of communality, at least across Europe. We sing Gaude Amos Igitur, and that's the same at Oxford, and we wear clothes that are the same all around Europe. It's uh, Europe and the world, it's a wonderful feeling of universality of academic life. Well, I'm not sure about that. We've been joking a little bit about what rights come with an honorary degree. Can I use the library, for example? And as far as I know, I can't even use the library. But of course, uh, psychologically, it's a wonderful thing. It's such a great honor. And also, uh, Switzerland means so much to me. I, I like the feeling that I am now officially connected with Switzerland. Most mathematicians are very theoretical and they don't really work with numbers, but I'm one of the ones who does work with numbers, so I really compute things. So what I do is uh, devise algorithms to solve differential equations, uh, things like that. It's the kind of useful mathematics that uh, science takes advantage of all the time. Well, it is a paradox. I think all mathematicians find that when you're in a conversation with somebody else, you're almost always talking about their subject rather than your own subject. Uh, we get so used to that that if somebody asks me about my work, I almost feel uncomfortable. I'm not used to it. Well, of course, I'm fascinated by formulas, as all mathematicians are, and I thought that the standard body mass formula was very odd. It didn't seem to have a clear justification. In fact, if you look at the justification, there's very little at all. It all comes from a paper published in 1972 that was almost casual. And now the insurance industry and the medical industry and the weight loss industry are all based on this fairly arbitrary formula. So I decided to try to make something a little better. Um, I became, uh, you know how it is, world famous for 15 minutes, as we say. So there was a, a discussion of this all around the world. And uh, it made people angry to some degree because my revised formula uh, suggests that tall men are actually not as overweight as they think and short women are not as underweight as they think. So it caused some anger, I'm afraid. Certainly in my life, I've always had a passion to do something which was mathematics. And I regard this as such an advantage to have something you're passionate about. You just follow it almost without thinking. That's, that makes life work out easily. It's very hard if you don't have a natural passion. So my advice is if you've got something you're passionate about, you are very lucky. Thank you.